Aloha! We are Jeff and Terry from Jack's Diving Locker and we are here today to talk about day use moorings. How we got them here in the state of Hawaii and why they are so important to protect our reef and this planet. We all like to go out and explore the reef and, and look for all the cool stuff that lives out there. Fish, eels, turtles, octopus, rays, you know, all that cool stuff. 35 years ago or so, when we got our first boat, we'd go out to explore the reef and the only way to keep the boat parked where we left it was to drop an anchor. But the problem with dropping an anchor is it's almost impossible to put an anchor and all the chain that goes with it on the bottom without that anchor or that chain breaking coral. Now we all know that coral is actually made of thousands of tiny little animals and it takes them a long time to grow and to build a reef. And we also know that all those cool animals we just talked about depend on the coral. They need it for hiding places and they need it for their grazing. They, they feed off of the coral. Um, they need it for a lot of different reasons. So without coral, there wouldn't be any fish. And so we had a problem. If everybody went out there and dropped anchors and chains on the coral, pretty soon there wouldn't be anything to go see. And not only do divers like us want to go see coral, but the, the very health of our ocean depends on it. And the planet depends on a healthy ocean. So everybody in this world that likes to breathe and eat needs a healthy ocean. So to solve this problem, we turn to science. Terry's dad was a scientist, and he did some research, and he found out there's a way to install a permanent mooring by drilling a hole in a big rock and cementing an eye bolt into the hole so that only that much is sticking out. And then, any time a boat wants to go, they just tie up to the rope, and they don't have to throw the anchor anymore. At first I thought, that sounds kind of crazy. How are we going to drill a hole underwater? And how are we going to glue an eye bolt underwater. But we learned how to do it with George's help and some other scientists. And the next problem was it's against the law to just go and put in a mooring without having a permit. And getting a permit wasn't all that easy, but we learned how to do that too. The third problem we had was it costs a lot of money to buy the eye bolt, the rope, the chain, the buoy, all that kind of stuff, and we didn't have a lot of money. But luckily, we had a friend who came to Hawaii and learned how to dive at Jack's Diving Locker. His name was Jerry Garcia, and he was a, a famous musician. He was part of a band called the Grateful Dead, and people would like that band so much that they would get in their vans and they would follow the band from city to city so that they could go to all the shows. Well, Jerry loved the fish and the coral as much as we did, and he wanted to help us, and so he actually helped us to get the permit, and he actually helped us to pay for the first bunch of uh, hardware that we used to, to put these moorings in. So the next step was to install the moorings. First, you've got to find the right spot. It should be someplace that people like to go and explore or fish and would drop an anchor. So rather than dropping an anchor, we would find a big rock that we could drill in, install the eye bolts, We'd rig them with chain and rope and a buoy, and then once the glue hardens, takes about a day, then it's time for people to go out, tie up to those moorings, and explore the reef. No more dropping anchors. And now, here on our island, there's about 80 moorings. So all up and down the coast, we have moorings that we can use, and on the other islands, they have them too. Altogether, there's over 270 of these moorings in Hawaii. Hawaii's day use moorings are made possible by donations to the nonprofit Malamakai Foundation. To learn more or make a tax deductible donation, go to www.malamakaifoundation.org.